It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Tuesday, the 19th of July. I'm Michael Groff. Above average temperatures with relatively dry conditions to continue for the rest of the week. Thunderstorm chances should remain confined to the eastern mountains of our state. But as we head into the weekend and next week, rain chances look to start to increase fairly dramatically and temperatures will head down to below average levels finally. Let's get into it here. First, we'll take a look at the Almanac from yesterday. 108 degrees the afternoon high after a morning low of 82. The normal high, 107. The normal low, 85. One one hundredth of an inch of rain officially at Sky Harbor yesterday, but we're still way behind on rain for the year. Some of you out in the West Valley, including here at Studio B in Avondale, we caught some rain yesterday morning, some isolated thunderstorms, and those continued across western Maricopa County through the midday hours. As we peek out there right now at 10.50 a.m., no isolated thunderstorms, at least not right now. And we're sitting at 102 degrees at Sky Harbor, dew points at 57, relative humidity 23%. The winds are light and the barometer is steady. The weather pattern across the country, a couple of notable features here, a rather vigorous short wave moving across the northern plain states, and that's bringing an end to the excessive heat that's been experienced over the Dakotas and into Minnesota here in the southwest, high pressure is the dominant feature. It's drifting closer to us, and as that happens, two things will occur. Number one, more subsidence or sinking air as you get closer to the center of that ridge, and what that does is it precludes those clouds from bubbling up and all those afternoon and evening storms from forming. Still, we'll have isolated to widely scattered storms over the higher terrain and maybe a stray storm in the desert at some point. But with the ridge getting closer to us as well and remaining very intense, the heat levels will continue to rise. On the watch warning map with that short wave over the Dakotas in Minnesota, you've got high wind warnings there. Underneath our ridge, still heat advisories and excessive heat warnings for the central and southern plains and nosing into the southeast. And here in south central Arizona for Maricopa and Pinal County, we've got a high pollution advisory for elevated ozone levels again today. The convective outlook for today, obviously, with our short wave, we've got a risk of severe storms up north over the western Great Lakes, and that extends into parts of the northeast as well, the southeast U.S., and here in Arizona, a level one out of five marginal risk for severe storms with our weak disturbance across parts of east central and southeast Arizona, including places like Tucson, Douglas, Bisbee, Sierra Vista, Fort Huachuca, Safford, and so the primary risk from storms down there today will be strong, damaging straight line winds, maybe an isolated microburst. Now, here in south central Arizona, I cannot completely rule out a stray storm, but for the most part, rain chances are going to be very low, and that will continue for the rest of the week. We'll talk about why as we look at modeling in just a moment. But first, here's a look at precipitation. This is valid through Tuesday morning of next week, courtesy of the WPC. Rain amounts here in Phoenix between about one-tenth and one-quarter of an inch. Heavier totals over in eastern Arizona amounts could be up around two inches or so, as well as along the southern border of our state and into northwest Mexico. Two to three-inch amounts are possible down there, as the weather pattern will turn decidedly more active here by the time we get to the weekend and heading into next week. We'll talk about all of that and everything else in more detail now as we get to those models here we go. The GFS, it's the 12Z run, valid at 5 o'clock this afternoon. We've got that short wave over the northern plain states. Our ridge here over the southwest continues to intensify and drift further to the west toward us. And those upper heights at 500 millibars between 594 to 597 decameters, that's pretty high. So what it means for us down at the surface today, mostly sunny to partly cloudy and hot. Highs 109 to 112. Widely scattered afternoon and evening showers and thunderstorms develop over east, central, and southeast Arizona. A few of those storms get on the rather strong side. And some of those outflow boundaries, yes, they will manage to get into south-central Arizona. The question is, will any storms be able to survive in a rather hostile mid-level environment of warm air, rather stable conditions, in order to give us a chance of storms tonight? And I really think the answer is generally no. The chance of rain in Phoenix is not mathematically zero, but I only think at best one or two spots could see an isolated storm tonight or some gusty winds, so we're not really going to put that in the forecast. Speaking of, by tonight, again, an isolated storm possible somewhere over south-central Arizona. Otherwise, we're just partly cloudy with overnight lows in the low 80s to low 90s. And then tomorrow, it's more of the same. Mostly sunny to partly cloudy, widely scattered storms in the eastern mountains and southeast Arizona. High temperatures still 108 to 112. Same forecast for Thursday as the ridge just still sitting right on top of us. 
By Friday, the ridge is going to start to scoot off to the east-northeast, and as it does, the flow aloft turns more out of the southeast. Slightly deeper moisture levels come in, and some guidance even shows a weak disturbance moving into southern Arizona at that time. And so we'll start to introduce rain chances back into the forecast by Friday evening. Now, mind you, not really a widespread precipitation event, but at least widely scattered thunderstorms would develop. And so high temperatures on Friday, yeah, 109 to 113, but then a 20% chance we could see some storms in here by Friday night. Going into the weekend and moving forward, the forecast turns decidedly more interesting with our ridge weakening further and moving off to the northeast over the Intermountain West, the flow aloft turning out of the east and southeast, and we will see these occasional easterly waves rotating around that ridge into the southwest. No telling exactly when and where they will be, but thunderstorms will be occasionally enhanced by these features. So for Saturday, scattered showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening hours. And so we'll put a 30% chance of rain in the forecast for Phoenix at that point and high temperatures around 104 to 108. Same forecast for Sunday, scattered afternoon and evening showers and storms, partly sunny and high temperatures nudge down a couple more degrees to around 101 to 105. On Monday, a rather unsettled weather pattern shaping up here across the southwest with an inverted trough coming in. Showers and thunderstorms most numerous in the afternoon and evening hours, although they could occur just about any time. And the coverage looks to be increasing here, so we'll go with a 40% chance of rain for Monday. If this verifies as advertised, we might have to bump up that rain chance. Temperatures headed down with mostly cloudy skies and higher humidity levels, we might only manage to make it into the upper 90s to around 103 for Monday. Tuesday, a continued unsettled weather pattern. This is a week from today, the 26th. Still have that ridge around, deep east to southeasterly flow, plenty of monsoon moisture scattered to numerous showers and thunderstorms around. High temperatures maybe only in the upper 90s to around 100, or even could be lower than that if this pans out. And then going out 10 days, this is Thursday, the 28th. And what you've got here is kind of a chaotic flow pattern. You've got one ridge out there over the North Pacific, another one east of us, uh, some type of wave off of the West Coast and maybe an inverted trough or easterly wave here. And what it really shows is a broad deformation zone over the Southwest. And this is just a classic setup for really unsettled weather, scattered to numerous showers and thunderstorms. They'll be most prominent in the afternoon and evening hours, but again, could occur just about any time. There's really no telling exactly where and when the placement of any disturbances would be in this pattern. That's why it's just kind of a general unsettled. But this is a mid to perhaps even high grade monsoon forecast if this verifies. But again, it's 10 days out and certainly would change. But we're just watching this with great interest. High temperatures would be below average. Rain chances above average. And that's the bottom line. As we look at rainfall for Phoenix, this is going out through the 2nd of August coming off of the European Ensemble. And you've got 51 members here and a pretty big model spread. Uh, some show barely anything over a tenth of an inch. Others are up there around three inches of rain. The ensemble mean around an inch and a quarter. The control member is close to two inches. So obviously the European is leaning toward a much wetter solution, a much wetter period here for the last week or eight days of July and heading into August. And temperatures off the European Ensemble above average for the next few days. But then look what happens as we head into next week. High temperatures going below normal. And it is conceivable with that increased moisture, we could have a day or two with high temperatures below 100 degrees. That would not be too bad because that would also mean increased rain chances. And we definitely could use the rain. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning. If you enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell. Leave those comments, questions, and suggestions. Music fans, check it out. My streaming station available 24-7, 365. It is called KMGX, whereupon we play a ton of music and have a lot of fun while doing that. It is myself and the one and only Michelle involved in the programming and operation of that station. Do check it out. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Thank you so much for watching. All of your continued support. It is greatly appreciated. You guys be safe, stay cool, stay hydrated out there, and have yourselves a legendary Tuesday.